Service Party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Over the past six years, 35,461 New Brunswickers have petitioned this legislature to stop spraying glyphosate over ground forests. I stand today to table yet another petition from New Brunswickers opposed to the spraying of the herbicide glyphosate over our crown forests. Together, this makes the largest petition on record in New Brunswick's history. And the petition reads as follows. Whereas approximately 13,000 hectares of New Brunswick crown forests are sprayed every year with herbicides to kill hardwoods that compete with seedlings and plantations, whereas spraying herbicides to kill broadleaf trees and shrubs in young conifer plantations destroys the food source and habitats of forest wildlife, whereas the province of Quebec, with approximately 90% of its forested land under public ownership, banned herbicide spraying of its public forest in 2001, whereas replacing the use of herbicides in crown forests with thinning crews of people working in the woods, as Quebec has done since 2001, would ensure more jobs for our forest resource, whereas the Auditor General of New Brunswick attributed the annual forest deficit to the costly civil culture program in a reported report table to the New Brunswick Legislature in June of 2015 by her. At a cost of about $1,000 per hectare, herbicide spraying contributes to the New Brunswick annual forest deficit and prevents natural forest regeneration. Whereas there is a widespread public opposition to the spraying of the forest in New Brunswick, three petitions against the spraying of the forest have been tabled in the New Brunswick Legislature in just over 10 years. The petition of the undersigned requests that the New Brunswick that New Brunswick MLAs support a ban on the spraying of glyphosate in Crown Forest Management in New Brunswick. I agree with this petition, Mr. Speaker, and have attached my signature. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.